we talked about some of the kids in your team before the show, but uh, uh, Justin Green along with uh, Tyler Highland and uh, Dax Tan and uh, finishing off with Benji Williams and one of your seniors. Yeah, you know, our, our three seniors, Benji Williams, Justin Green, Dax and Tan, they've really uh, stepped up and been seniors for us this year, you know, uh, had great summers. Uh, Daxon, you know, newer to our program, um, has really stepped up. Uh, Benji, you know, I had a lot of coaches in our conference talk about, well, Benji's not scoring as much as he did last year, and, and I don't think people understand how unselfish of a player he is. He just does everything you ask him to help our team be better, and this year we asked him to really defend and rebound, um, and to me he's our best rebounder. Um, yeah, he's not scoring at the clip he was last year, but uh, you watch him play. He does all the little things for our team. Uh, Justin Green has really stepped in. Um, he's a great shooter, as you can see from the clips, but also he's, he's extremely unselfish. He, he just wants our team to be better. He's our defensive leader. We put him on you know, the other team's best guards, and he steps up there. Daxton, uh, when he's aggressive, Daxton is a really hard matchup for other teams. He can play inside and outside. Um, so, you know, those three guys uh, certainly have been great leaders for us this year. And then along with Tyler Highlands coming over from football, you have to make that transition from a football athlete to a basketball athlete, don't you? Well, Tyler, you know, number one, he's a competitor. Um, that guy loves to compete. And uh, you watch him play, and he has a great feel for the game. He's really a, a leader for us as well, um, has a ton of confidence. Um, and also, when he's playing well, our team plays well. Um, and it's not just him shooting. In some games, he's been, you know, 0 for 9 shooting the ball, but he does th – other games, he's been, you know, 7 of 8 shooting the ball. But what he does for us is he's, he competes, and he has a grit to him and a toughness about him um, that the other kids really feed off of. In your rotation, you've got Ryan Hutchinson along with uh, uh, Elliot and Johnson, your younger players, too, that really stepped up this year. No question about it. And uh, they're extremely talented. Joe Elliott is really, can really shoot the ball, and Xavier Johnson um, is a really hard guard uh, off offensively. And they're both left-handed kids, and for whatever reason, can't guard lefties. And uh, they really put, give fits to the other team. And then, you know, a big surprise for us, you know, Joe Uranowitz is a freshman, uh, might be our best player. Um, and he's tough, aggressive, um, and he's got a, a confidence about him that you don't really see from freshmen at his level. And he's, uh, he's going to be a really special player when it's all said and done. You know, we, we play in the front range league. It's a tough league, tough league. And so uh, we're a little over halfway through the conference season. Uh, Todd, give us your take just on who are the teams to watch in this conference this year uh, uh, so far in the front range league, in your opinion? Yeah, I think any of the city schools, you know, can, can beat anyone on any given night. Um, this is probably the most balanced I think the city schools have been in terms of the, the girl side of things. You know, Loveland, you know, has a great player that, you know, can, is kind of levels the playing field for them as well. Uh, Monarch, you know, they're playing good again. Um, they kind of struggle, but they've got a new coach getting used to some things. Horizon's young. They don't have any seniors. Uh, they've played everybody tough, and, and even Broom, you know, Broomfield has two really good players, and then they have a bunch of uh, role players that really embrace that, that the two make better in their game. So you know, our, our conference is pretty balanced, and you know, it's been a dogfight almost every night. And the same with uh, on the boys' side. It seems like it's one of those years that on any given night, I think uh, there can be a competitive game, even a, a loss or a win by a team you don't expect it on the boys' side. No, no question about it. And I, I really think uh, anybody can beat anybody. And it's, it's always uh, interesting after our game to go check the, the scores from the other league games because um, there's always a surprise every night. And, and really, there should be no surprises because of how balanced the league is. You know, I think Boulder certainly is, is at the top right now. Um, they've, they've been the best team we've played. But, um, you know, every night it's, it's, a, it's a dog fight. And, um, you know, I like where we are. You know, I really like our team. And I like moving into February. I just think we're getting better and better. And, you know, I certainly wouldn't want to play us uh, in, in February because I just think uh, we provide problems for people. But also, you know, we have to respect everybody we play because everybody we play from here on out is really good too. So it's one of those things that, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be a very fun month in February. Well, aside from the wins and losses, you know, as a couple old coaches, uh, you, you want to see how your kids develop as students and as young people. So, uh, Coach Mackin, what would you like to make a comment about with your team, just besides the W's and L's? Yeah, I think, you know, we started, we've really been emphasizing it, you know, since I've been at Rocky, but really last year started to kind of take hold of, 
you know, you know, being ambassadors uh, of Rocky Mountain High School outside of the outside of the school, um, that feeling of togetherness, family, you know, that's something we preach day in and day out, being there for one another. You know, families have, have issues and you don't always agree with one another, but you know, you love each other and you care for each other. Um, and really just trying to make a difference in people's lives, you know, on the court and off the court. And, and I've got a, uh, I really do have a special group of girls that have embraced that, that really try to find, you know, that best quality in everybody that they're around. And Coach Taffel, the same thing for you? Yeah, you know, I will echo a lot of things Coach Madkin talked about. You know, I think uh, both very lucky to be teaching and coaching at the school we're at. You know, I think Rocky as a community in general um, really preaches, you know, something we call the Lobo way about character, about other centered, thinking about how um, to treat other people with compassion and, and respect. And, and really, you know, we try to preach in our program um, family, and, and toughness, just like Coach Madkin talked about. You know, I think one player in our program, Ryan Hutchison, who really, you know, kind of embodies the things that we're about is, is just to being team first and how special um, things can be when you put other people in front of yourself. And, and Hutch is a player that some games he plays a lot, some games he doesn't play a lot, but he's such a team first guy and just wants to do whatever it takes to help our team be successful. And I think those lessons of being unselfish, of putting others in front of yourself, of hard work and, and commitment, um, and, and understanding the big picture, you know, stuff that Hutch does every day, is something I hope our, our whole team takes away from the season and, and really, you know, at the end of the day, you know, they've learned to be great people in our community and, and moving forward. Well, you're both doing a great job, and we really hope to see you both go deep in the playoffs. It's almost playoff time, and, and uh, you know, we like the whole city of Fort Collins to represent in the playoffs and see how deep we almost always have several teams playing deep into the playoffs. So thank you guys for your time. We thank you for watching this edition of uh, PSD Sports Talk, and we'll see you next time.